Hello, I'm Stephen Hockey, and we are taking a time out to talk about terminal illnesses. My life was amazing, you know. But it's interesting what you find out about people when they know you're going to die. Uh, I went to the, the doctor to get some tests done, and when they came back, I knew it was true, but I didn't want anybody to know. Yeah, me and Jack were friends for a long time. But if he contracted it, he must have done something wrong, right? One time we were playing basketball, and uh, he tripped and scraped his knee. I looked down and I saw that I had gotten blood on me. What I didn't realize at the time was that it was my blood. I had been sliced in half. I mean, that's totally fed up. I mean, two fucking pieces. Guts and everything, everywhere. <laughs> he even kicked me a few times, so that was pretty fucking cool. I guess the ninja must have missed him when Jack tripped. But after that, everyone knew. He had ninjitis. There are several ways to contract ninjitis. Failing to successfully kill a shogun. Pissing off the Yakuza. Or being a renegade cop who plays by his own rules. Regardless of how many times the chief yells at you and takes away your badge because you shoot first and ask questions later until you get those scumbags who killed your partner who was only two days away from retirement. So what can you do if you've already contracted ninjitas? Find an old Chinese guy to hit you with a stick help him out with his groceries <laughs> do other forms of rigorous martial arts training once you have completed your training you will be able to face the disease and reach beyond the fifth dimension of end space and time <laughs> This can't possibly be good for us. I'm Stephen Hockey, and I am also a survivor of ninjitas. Remember, there is always a time for a timeout.